The appendix testis, also referred to as the testicular appendix or hydatid of Morgani, is a small, benign piece of tissue found in the upper part of the testes. It is a remnant of the malarian duct, which develops into the female reproductive tract in individuals designated female at birth. Present in about 80% of individuals designated male at birth, the appendix testis has no known function. Pathophysiology of appendix testis torsion. Torsion, or twisting, of the appendix testis is a common cause of acute scrotal pain, particularly in children between 7 and 12 years old. While the exact cause of torsion is unclear, it is thought to be related to factors like trauma or the enlargement of the testes during puberty. The appendix testis being attached to the testicle is prone to twisting. Seasonal variations, such as cold temperatures during winter, have also been suggested as a potential contributing factor to increase cases of torsion. Clinical manifestations. The most prominent symptom is a sudden onset of pain localized to the upper pole of the testis or epididymis. This pain may be similar to but less severe than testicular torsion and its onset is typically more gradual. A palpable, localized mass may be present in the area of maximum tenderness. The scrotum generally appears normal and the cremasteric reflex is usually intact, which can help differentiate it from testicular torsion. While not always present, a blue dot sign, representing the ischemic testicular appendage, may be visible on the scrotum in some cases. Other possible symptoms include swelling in the scrotum, redness, a blue dot on the scrotum due to blood loss. Diagnosis. Diagnosis of appendix testis torsion is primarily clinical, relying on a thorough history and physical examination. Colored Doppler ultrasonography is the preferred imaging modality for evaluating acute scrotal pain and can help confirm the diagnosis. Ultrasound findings may reveal normal blood flow to the affected testicle, helping rule out testicular torsion. Hypoperfusion of the epididymis. The torsed appendage appearing as a hypoechoic or hyperechoic nodule, depending on the duration of torsion. A torsed appendage exceeding 5.6 millimeters in size. Radionuclide imaging can be used to detect a hot that sign at the site of torsion, but is less preferred than ultrasound due to its lower sensitivity and longer procedure time. Management. Appendix testis torsion is generally a self-limiting condition and most cases resolve with conservative management. Conservative treatment typically involves bed rest, scrotal elevation, ice application, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, NSAIDs for pain and inflammation, analgesics for pain relief. Pain and inflammation usually subside within a week, but may take longer in some cases. Surgery is rarely indicated, and is typically only considered in the following situations. Uncertainty in diagnosis and concern for testicular torsion. Severe pain unresponsive to analgesics. Pain that persists or recurs despite conservative measures. Prognosis. The prognosis for appendix testis torsion is excellent. As the appendix testis is a vestigial structure with no known function, its loss due to torsion does not have any long-term consequences. Conservative treatment is usually successful, and the condition resolves without complications in most cases. The primary concern is misdiagnosis, as delaying treatment for testicular torsion can have serious consequences. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscription button. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below in the comment section.